Hello, it's Aubrey Shepherd with John Rule. On the 4th of September, 2014, we've got a bunch of pictures. Here's a clear wing moth. I believe it's a Maris uh, Thisbe, but I could be wrong. Well, I've never seen one like that before. Well, that's the Thisbe, and it's it's on the, the climbing milkweed. It's an Anchor no. Levy, mm -hmm. and I took advantage of this uh, site, which is downtown Pebble. That's a great shot. And uh, just... Really, now here's one of our leaf favorites. Hopper. Yeah, leaf hopper on uh, the leaf. Also on that's a great shot too. Vine. Yeah, and uh, there's a tiny bee. I see it on a, uh, a tick seed coreopsis, I think. All right. And there's a a dark flower fly, and I'm always getting a shot at those, but I never get a good shot. Right. Here's a robber fly. Yeah, a robber fly. Right. And there, how's that look? You don't see, I don't see too many of those. But the, well, when you see one, they're pretty scary looking. They yeah, they steal act, something from yeah. Them. Here we go. Now, this is this has a black line. Right. And, uh huh. And that black line, you can see the black line on this. This is the. Uh, Viceroy? Viceroy butterfly, okay. yes. They look like a, mm -hmm. a, a monarch in many ways, but they're yeah. very different. In, now, in this will be what kind of bee? This is a bumblebee, and there's a little tiny flower fly over on your right. Can you see yeah. it? Yeah, a well, bee, and I'm not sure. in not in focus. Well, it's is not it? this. Well, this one's in focus to me. Yeah. There's the maypole. Uh huh. That's at World Peace Wetland Prairie, and it's on the. Uh, it's, it's on a. Bench. a uh, but it's still. Passion it's, flower vine. Yeah, I can see it's bent down, and it uh -huh. just sat there that way. Right. And you recognize these things? Well, uh, I guess so. It's it's a uh, caterpillar. It's a yeah. uh, woolly wool bear. Woolly bear, yeah, and uh, it probably is a black and white uh, moth when it comes out. Uh, I see. I don't, I've never identified the moth. I've seen lots of woolly bears, some with brown yeah. center stripes. Now we're down. Wow. This is the rain. This was Sunday morning probably. Wow. And uh, the rain's still going on, but it's tapered off enough I dare get out with my camera. Yep. You can see that drops right off into the town branch. Yeah, thing. I do. And all that erosion's occurring. Yeah. Pollution. The, you know, it's just the fighting the streamside ordinance when you build these uh, yep. things. This trail goes under the bridge right. on South School Avenue. You can see how it slopes down. Right. And you can, co you can go up to the street from there or get on it from the street mm -hmm. and go under there. But you can see things like that pipe, that sewer pipe across the street. Right. Now, see, it, it's the, the soil on top of it's washed away. And they, they have put all this loose dirt that's sticky and full of gravel. You can see how powerful the flow was there yeah. around that uh, piling under the there's a lot of places I've seen put that old sewer lines across the creeks that were just dragging down. This is on the trail itself under the bridge. Yeah, well. And see, it's that slop is just washing off into the right. town branch, right. and, which right. is the town branch of the West Fork of the White River, leads into Beaver Lake, yeah. and it uh, is the kind of silt that yeah. we don't need. Yeah. Good so, drinking for the masses. Yes, yes, boy. Look. Look at that, it looks like a, an aerial photo of the Mississippi River Delta or something. Right. Right. <laughs> but I, you know, I, I made a bunch of pictures and, and they don't all uh, come out as well. I, I actually like some of this classy, right. high quality yeah. graffiti. And that's been there since before this was built. And so far it's been left there. Yeah, well, really, amazing. I don't think there's any cuss words in it, and I hope that it will remain there. Well, it livens up concrete. It sure makes it look better. <laughs> and there you can see more erosion. Now, see how high the water is? I do. It's, I estimated, about 18 inches from being over the creek. Yeah. Probably earlier when the rain was heavier, mm -hmm. it was over the, over the right. trail right. for a while. Right. And later, and then the second rain we had this week, Right. Uh, probably got over there again, and it right. kept.
can get all the way over South School Avenue and mm -hmm. flood that out. See you. Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard with John Rule, and let's see some photos from South Fayetteville, Arkansas, from the week of September first, uh, or, or I guess August thirty-first through the fourth. And here's some more on that trail that's built down to the creek there and goes under the creek, uh, adjacent to the bridge. You can see the bridge there and how close the water is to overflowing at that point. That was, I believe, on Sunday morning. And the, uh, what, what was the 31st or the 1st? But anyway, uh, that's the town branch. This is at the Senior Center. These are some folks that I've known, several of them, over the years. And they were all together, they were longtime friends. And I can't name them all, but uh, if you see your relatives and friends in that group picture, let them know it's, it's on public access TV this week. And that here we are. At the Senior Center. Yeah. yeah, at the Senior Center. And here we are, uh, Robins were just mm -hmm. all over the. Uh, so I see. <laughs> Way out of sight down there. They were feeding after that rain right. along the edges of the yeah. trail, the yeah. Pinnacle Prairie Trail. There's no telling what kind of wonderful insects. Basket there. flower. Yeah, and see, that one's past bloom, but don't even think about trying to save that seed head until you wait till it's totally dark, dries out, mm -hmm. and that, that may be, it, it, they'll be good into the mm -hmm. winter, actually. Mm -hmm. Indigo. Yes. White wild, Baptisia alba. Oh, and this, good. see the flag? That means that, that area. Right. See, there's a, a, a mower in the background. This is across right, the ball I see stadium. The, see the machine back there. And now. the mowing has been done, but they set aside several areas so that those right. plants can be salvaged. Right, right. And now you oh, see wow. one of those critters that eats the leaves of milkweed. So I see. And uh, there's a seed pod. You know, he may eat it too, yeah. He's got that brilliant color. That's the Sclepius hertella. And see how much is already eaten off of there. Some of that, some of these plants, it's clearly been monarchs, right. uh, monarch caterpillars. And one of the good things about not mowing this whole area is right. those monarch caterpillars need another month to develop and fly. They've had a hard time. So. This, this area will be a parking area for, mm -hmm. for Razorback Games starting mm -hmm. th this week. Uh, this is the 8th, so this, I mean, this is the 4th. So three days from now, there will be a, a ball game and there will be people parking. But they, thanks to Coach Brawl's son, mm -hmm. uh, Tom Brawls, mm -hmm. he was out there and he had the mower go around right. these areas and rope some of it off mm -hmm. so that people wouldn't uh, park on those plants. They've got a better chance mm -hmm. uh, to survive. Now, I believe I'm showing you a uh, deer track, although it doesn't look oh. as clear as I, it did mm -hmm. to me when I put it up here on there. But uh, that's another thing about the deer, they'll still be able to use the streamside area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they won't be coming out very far from there no. because it'll <laughs> all be paved. Yeah. But these plants, a, a portion of them will survive down there. This right. is the Asclepius um, Beard of Flora. See the small green, fat leaves? Yeah. Uh -huh, short green. And um, green comet milkweed is one of the common names for it. Uh -huh. No, there's yeah, a deer shot, but better, right, yeah. better shot, yeah. Right. Because I'm not sure what that other hole was. But but this deer was, you know, within 50 feet of the stream uh -huh. side. Right. And had just been through there during the rainy period. So, and here's a phenomenon that uh, in the fall, this yeah. is one of the earliest blooming milkweed species in Arkansas, right. uh, Verita flora, I mean, Viridus, Asclepius viridus. Right. But here's one on that property that's blooming late. And oh, it's amazing. so that's from like that's uh, right. May through uh, 1st of September, that same species has been blooming because right. of the rain we've had and so forth. Okay, there's uh, our Sierra Club meeting. Yeah. And you're there and a whole bunch of good friends. And that's the. Uh, 
Executive Committee of the Ozark Headwaters Group. Some of those are new members who just joined. Mm -hmm. And I actually got the waitress to make the picture so I could be in there with the rest of you guys. That's great. Till next time, this Auburn Shepherd asks you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. See ya.